All right, we're working our way up. We're looking at the power of a power property. And what that means is if I've got a base such as A and I've got an exponent such as M and then another exponent, so I have two exponents, one on top of another one, all I have to do is write it as A to the M times and I just multiply the exponents. So let's go up here. I've got a few uh, examples. I got four of them to be exact. Um, so you'll notice I have a to the third to the fourth power. <coughs> and what that means is I have an exponent to an exponent or a power of a power. And all I do is I write a three times four, which is gonna be a to the 12th power. Okay, so we get a to the 12th power. Um, after we do that, we go over to the next one, and this one's going to bring in some negative exponents, but that's perfectly fine. We know how to handle those. So you'll notice that I have c to the negative one to the third power, and I have a power to a power. We just multiply c. We take that negative one and multiply it by three, which means that we have c to the negative third power. Now, I am going to write this as a positive, and if we remember negative exponents, if I have a to the negative n, that just means I have one over a to the n. They move to the bottom of a fraction. So I just simply, in this case, write one over c to the third power. So that negative exponent goes to the bottom and becomes a positive exponent. There's an example video of why that occurs in a previous video. Um, so let's go ahead and use that same setup for this next problem. It says d to the fifth to the negative second. So I have power to a power again, okay? Um, so I have power to a power right there. So I'm gonna write d to the five times negative two. And five times negative two is gonna give us negative 10. And I'm gonna use that negative exponent rule, which um, I just write one over d to the 10th power. That makes that have a uh, exponent that is positive. Now. Go to the third one, the most complicated one on the list, and you're going to notice that there's a few things that are taking place in this. Uh, we have bases that are the same, x cubed and x squared. And then we've got this x squared having a power and a power. So the first thing we want to do is we want to work with this power of a power right there, exponent with an exponent. We need to just go ahead and multiply. So let's write 6x cubed y and then we know that two times negative two is just simply negative four. So I'm gonna write x to the negative fourth power. Now, one of the other things that we learned earlier was the product property, okay? And what that means is if the bases are the same and they're multiplying, we can add their exponents. But I like to use the associate property, move things around first. So I'm gonna write six times x cubed times x to the negative fourth times y. And then I can write that x to the third plus negative four. And that gives me x six times x to the negative one. And that's because three plus negative four is x to the negative one times y. Now we go back to that negative exponent that we were talking about. We've got a negative exponent right here. And what did we do earlier with negative exponents? We moved them to the bottom of the fraction. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to write 6y over x to the first power, or just x. And that should give us that setup. 